Well, here we are with the familiar face and friend of Sports Vibe, of course, Mr. Mark Foster. We're at the Karen Hardy Studios in Chelsea. And does this mean, Mr. Foster, you have returned to the dance floor? I have to be fair, Ian, I never left the dance floor. The dance never left me since I experienced it in 2008 at Strictly Come Dancing. No, I, re I really did have a wonderful time doing Strictly. And I think coming on the back of the Olympic Games, being in that tip top shape as an athlete, and then doing the show and having wonderful fun, first of all, and then lo losing more and more weight, I thought of it. It was that experience that I had, which then led me three years later to, to knowing Ian and knowing, knowing Natalie, that I had this idea about the legacy of the Olympic Games was getting people fit and healthy. You know, and some people don't like running, swimming or going to the gym. And having such a wonderful time dancing, knowing these two dancers, the idea of fit stepping, which is about getting fit through, fit through stepping, and the steps became dance steps. So Natalie and Ian put the concept together. But I wanted something to, to give people opportunities. We're not going to go and do anything, there's no way to do it. So we come up with this, the concept of Fit Steps, which is 12 Latin and ballroom dances. Uh, and what you're doing here is you're learning strictly proper dance steps as well as in, in, a, in a dance class in an exercise environment. So we better say that so Natalie and Ian are, of yeah, course, the, strictly the dancers. Are, yeah. Um, so Natalie, Natalie Lowe and Ian, Ian and Wade, they're the strictly, strictly come dancing dancers. Yes. And what you've cleverly done is merge two absolutely massive success stories, the London Olympic Games and the phenomenon that is Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah, no, absolutely. But I mean, it just sort of made sense that if you think the show's been going now for probably, I think it was its eighth or ninth series, and no one has really come up with the idea. And I just think that it's a phenomenon in itself, you know, 12 to 15 million people watch Strictly every week. So there's obviously an interest there, but I think because it's not a class, people can't go and learn how to how to dance in a strictly kind of way. And it's not. It, I think the other the difficulty was before people thought you need to have a dance partner. You know, it has to be a couple that dance together. And what Natalie and Ian have done very very cleverly is they've designed a concept where people do it on their own. And I think what better way than to dance and get fit in a fun environment with a lot of other people? I think mass participation events nowadays are becoming bigger and bigger. People don't like. You know, I used to swim up and down a pool on my own. People don't like doing things on their own. They like to make it fun and social. So this sort of ticked, ticked all the boxes. And it was a real fun. It, it's been a lot, a lot of fun. Like I say, I'm not the brains. They're the brains behind the steps. So I, I, I had the face to it. And let's be honest, you absolutely loved uh, the Strictly experience, didn't you? And I guess as well, as a, as a professional sportsman for many, many years, supremely fit, uh, it probably surprised you, didn't it? The, the levels of fitness and commitment required. <laughs> For me, watching anyone do something well, very much like you've been an interviewer, but watching anyone do anything really, really well really impresses me, because I know it just doesn't happen. There's a lot of training that goes into making it happen. There's a lot of talent that makes it happen. So when I did Strictly, watching the way that the professional dancers move blows me away. But I know that, you know, it just doesn't happen. They've trained years and years and years and dedicated themselves to make this happen. So, yes, I had a... a um, a fascination with, 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 with dance from the moment of doing Strictly Come Dancing itself. I wouldn't have been able to put this concept together at, at all. I can't, like I say, I'm not, I'm not a very good dancer. But what happened was I went from being someone that couldn't dance to someone that could dance a little and has got better and better by doing it. And I think that's the same with anybody, with anything you do, the more you do it, the more better you get. And I think the thing is, through, through, the, dan through the dancing, you get an awful lot of confidence as well. And there's a lot of people out there, and I look back to, I don't know if you know the film, there's a film called perfect with John Travolta and um, Jamie Lee Curtis. And that was about people going and doing aerobics. It's a new fad in America, the aces of aerobics class as well. And what a better way for people to meet one another in a, in a dance class. So there's a lot of people out there that want to dance, so we're giving them the opportunity to go and do it. What are you hoping ultimately to, to achieve from this? Getting people fit and healthy and people having fun. And I think the thing is, we've, 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 there's a huge problem in the UK with uh, uh, diabetes, obesity, heart disease. You know, people aren't conscious about what they're putting in their bodies and not doing any exercise. So what we're doing is we're giving people an exercise class to do, a dance class to do. We're also giving them information on diet, hydration, lifestyle. So we're trying to give people knowledge. I think I find it amazing people coming to me and asking me about what they should eat, what they should drink, and I get blown away by the fact that they don't know these things. But you don't know these things until you're taught them, until you're educated. And what we're trying to do is educate people here how to dance, but also about the lifestyle at the same time. But the, the key thing is, people will only do what they do if they have fun. And what we've got here is we've got a class that will suit people from the age of 6 through to 75, 
and it's on lots of different levels. If you're not that good, you can do it at this level. If you're a little bit more advanced, we'll make it more and more advanced, or you can just, you know, up your effort, up your intensity. Well, Mark, you're clearly very passionate about it, and thank you for keeping your shirt on during this interview. Thank you very much indeed. Thank it's cut you. Off too much recently.